Hey guys. All right. So today I want to talk about there's three different ways to multiply polynomials. And it's it doesn't matter which way you feel most comfortable with. It's all about you. So you choose the way that you feel most comfortable with and stick with that. Okay, so our first way, here's our problem, and we're going to do it three different ways. The first way I'm going to teach you is horizontally. So you may call this foiling. Okay, so you're going to take this x and you're going to multiply it to every single term in the second parenthesis. Then you're going to take the negative 2 and multiply that to every single term in the second parenthesis. So if we were to write this out, you get x times 1 is x, x times 3x is 3x squared, x times negative x cubed is a negative, sorry, x squared is a negative x cubed, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x, and a negative 2 times another negative x squared is a positive 2x squared. Okay, now all you have to do is combine your like terms. So I would scan this and say, what's my highest exponent? Well, I have a negative x cubed. So that goes first, and I'm done with that one. After the cube comes the squares. So I have a 3x squared and a 2x squared. So that's a 5x squared. So my x squareds are gone now. Now I have my x's. I have an x and a negative 6x, which give me a negative 5x. Those are gone, and then a negative 2. So this is going to be my answer. So that's the horizontal method. The vertical method is very similar to how you probably have learned uh, multiplication in elementary school. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. Negative 2 times a negative x squared is a positive 2x squared. Okay? We put our 0. Now we start with our x. x times 1 is x. x times 3x is 3x squared. x times negative x squared is a negative x cubed. Now we're just going to add negative 2, negative 5x, positive 5x squared, and a negative x cubed. So I got my same answer. I just did it a different method. Now with a box method, okay, imagine yourself standing here. You're going to go left and up. So x times negative x squared is negative x cubed. Here, a negative 2 times a negative 2, or a negative x squared, is a positive 2x squared. Here, a 3x times another x is a 3x squared. Here, negative 2 times 3x, so we're looking here and here, it's a negative 6x. Here, x times 1, x, negative 2 times 1, negative 2. So your answer is inside the box, and you just have to combine like terms. And if you kind of look at it diagonally, that's your x cubed. Those are your x squared. Those are your x's, and then you have your constant. So you write it going left to right. Here's my 5x squared. Here's my negative 5x, and here's my negative 2. Okay, so it's up to you which way you want to multiply. All right, I want to review some more problems. The more you practice, the easier this will get, okay? So we have A and we have B. So we have 3x squared times x cubed plus 4. Okay, so... You, we're multiplying. You are distributing that 3x squared, okay? So 3x squared times x cubed is 3x to the fifth. So remember, when you have variables with exponents and you are multiplying, you get to add your exponents, okay? 
only when we multiply we add exponents. So you can say to yourself, well, I have two x's here, and I'm adding three more x's. So now I have five x's, okay? So now it's plus 12x squared. That would be your answer. For b, here's another example. ab times a cubed plus 3ab squared minus b cubed. Okay, so our problems are going to get bigger and bigger. So here, how many a's do I have? I have one a here, and I'm adding three more a's. So now I have four a's, and I have this b. Now I go to the second term. See that three? That three's going to stay. How many a's do I have? I have one outside, one inside. That's two. How many Mr. b's? With all department chairs, please meet with Ms. Myers in the media center. I have three time. b's. Again, all department chairs, please meet in the media center with Ms. Myers at this time. Thank you. All right. So here, the minus stays. I have an a, and then I have three b's and one b. Now I have four b's. Okay, we're going to try two more that are a little more difficult. All right, so we have 3cd squared times 4c squared d minus 6cd plus 14cd squared. All right, so I want you to look at the numbers first. So 4 times 3 is 12. Then look at your C's. I have 1C. I'm adding 2 more. Now I have 3. D's. I have 2 here, 1 here. Now I have 3. Now I'm going to go here. Negative 6 times 3 is negative 18. How many C's do I have? I have 1, 2. How many D's do I have? I have 2, 3. Plus 14 times 3 is 42. How many C's? 1, 2. How many D's? 2 and 2 is 4. Okay, so the more we do this, the easier it will become. x squared y times 6y cubed plus y squared minus 28y plus 30. Okay, my 6 comes down. I only have this x squared. I have one y and three more. Now I have four y's. Plus, these are the only x's I have. I have one y and two more, so now I have three y's. Minus 28 comes down. The x squared outside is the only x's. y and y, I have two y's now. Plus the 30 comes down, and then I have to multiply it to the x squared y. And that is how we multiply polynomials. I hope that helps. Thanks.